Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, Sagittarius, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do, Sagi, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Sagittarius. As well, if you find any cards that resonate with you, or you just enjoy my vibe, Sagittarius, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I really I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way, Sagittarius. Um, okay, now this card as well. Uh, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> as well, before you finally get into your weekly reading today, Sagittarius, I just want to remind you that when it comes to my weekly tarot readings, that they're not here to make a decision in your life, Sagittarius, because I don't believe that that's what tarot cards are here for. Um, I believe that my tarot cards are here just to give you some food for thought, decision, uh, not a decision, a perspective for you to consider. Never making a decision in your life, actually, such a tarot, because it is your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, Sagittarius, let's get into your weekly reading for today. Now, I pulled some cards for you guys this week, all right, well, this week. I pulled some cards for you right now, Sagittarius, just so I could get a general vibe of, um, what's going on for you right now. So <clears throat> let me get these cards set up for you guys. And so I'll show you these cards right now. Uh, we have the Dreamer card, Archangel Metatron, A Leap of Faith, Follow Your Dreams and Unexpected Opportunities. We have the Knight of Water or the Knight of Cups coming in for you. We have the King of Fire coming in for you. Uh, and then we have the Chariot card. I mean, did I even show you the King of Fire that well? <laughs> and then we have the Chariot card coming in, Archangel Metatron, number seven. Uh, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. So how are we taking this, my beautiful Sagittarius? To be honest, you guys got all really, I'm just now processing it. Uh, you guys got all really good cards, Sagittarius, truly. You guys are on, it seems like you guys are on the right path right now. It seems like you guys are on the, path towards and i see like you guys are the ones taking active steps and um towards going towards some type of opportunity or just trying to further your future right as all of us are trying to do um so let's just get into this dreamer card this is the full card a normal tarot number zero so this is the energy that i feel like uh, i mean i'm bi full on bias right it's the full card so i'm always going to be extremely biased when it comes to the fool because it's my favorite card in the deck sagittarius but with this, uh, I feel like it's extremely important for you to uh, continue on with this energy of where it's like the world is kind of like your oyster in a sense, because with this, I, I'm sorry, Sagittarius, anytime I start talking a lot, I have like a lot of air that just gets trapped in my chest <laughs> and I'm trying not to just like belch in front of you guys on camera. Um, with this, I feel like it's paired with the message of the Six of Earth. Um, that I pulled for you. Gifts or gifts of money or time or effort, new career opportunities, and receiving a loan or paying off debts. So I feel like these two cards go together hand in hand. I feel like Sagittarius, especially since I see you right now in this place of um, really taking action every single day towards going just really going forward really it seems like you like because i know for last week y'all's reading sagittarius there's like one last thing that you had to like let go of there's something that you're really insistent on for a while trying to be have it be part of your story or have it be part of your path still sagittarius and i kind of get the sense of where it's just like now it's like some type of weight has just been released off of your shoulders. It feels almost as if like something you guys have finally identified what it is that you are not, like it's not that equal give and take. 
and you guys have finally released yourself from it. I feel like you guys are like walking down this path now, feeling completely new, not feeling like not going in the same method as you guys were going in for a while, Sagittarius. So I really celebrate you for that, right? You have the King of Fire. Now this is what I was talking about for what I kept referencing. You and Aries actually are similar in this of, um, where with the king of fire and now so this card says focus 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 communicate with the vision and be a leader and advice from someone creative so maybe for some of you sagittarius is you guys have we're in this place of um letting go of like that old the old things old people that you kept on trying to be part of your storyline or be part of your path for a while and i see for a lot of you um sagittarius is that have released stuff or release that baggage release those things that you were so insistent for a while to have be part of your journey i see you now replacing those things with some good things um whether that's with new people or what have you right with this five of air coming in i feel like as the clarifying for it we have this card saying an, un an unwise choice learn what you can from this situation and reviewing everyone's motives it feels like this is exactly what you did now, i know this kind of comes off in a sense of where it's more um it sounds a lot more aggressive or negative than what i feel like this card is intended for at least for your storyline as uh, sagittarius because i feel like for you guys um this is where it is you were just taking um assessing everything you're just like all right like what is for me and what is not for me anymore what is adding value to my life and what isn't adding value into my life and you're getting rid of stuff that wasn't adding value into your life anymore and it feels like you're just it feels a lot more like now sagittarius is more hands-on involved in their own life than they were before which just makes me extremely happy and so then we go into the night of water for you now the night of water is the opportunity that you're walking towards right um and here's the thing i feel like with this the, the night of water it's like you're walking towards this but this opportunity this person whatever it is that you're working towards you already have an idea of what this is so i don't need to speak and um generalizations whatever it is that you've been working so hard on that you feel so um inspired to go forward with as that king of fire and then that, as that dreamer card this is also it feels like it's responding as well to your efforts and like matching you in terms of like energy of like progression trying to meet you halfway so the clarifier that we have for the sagittarius is the ten of earth for you this card says a very happy family life financial security finding the magic and little things in life and so yeah i see sagittarius truly i see you guys working towards a lot more stability it feels like a lot of you guys are coming out of some type of this is just a hunch at this point right so take this as you will um it feels like a lot of you guys are like now going into this place of really craving stability because you guys have been in this place of instability um for a while in your life so i don't know if you guys have had just like a lot of instability in terms of like your um work relationships sagittarius or maybe you've had a lot of instability in terms of just like your own personal um relationships or just even like your family life even it could just deal with a career as well sagittarius um, it just seems like you guys are working towards the stability and I kind of get this sense Sagittarius that like if you haven't figured it out this week if you haven't figured it out yet rather Sagittarius it seems like especially with this dynamic that whatever once you like identify where it is that you need to go the directions that you need to go and start living out like going experiencing that <laughs> rather Sagittarius I get this sense that things would, are just going to start coming a lot easier or start solving itself um, and rectifying itself a lot quicker than you would anticipate on some things. Um, and so what I would be saying, Sagittarius, this week is that if you feel like things are still being a little bit difficult for you or coming a little bit difficult for you, probably that is where it is that you need to start like looking at it a little bit closer and be like is this even meant for me anymore because i'm seeing a sagittarius of like once i identify what it is that is meant for them that's where um a lot of forward growth a lot of forward motion happens and i say this because of the chariot card that came in number seven so right number seven down for numerology to look up later sagittarius to see how it correlates with your life or just even in this weekly 
uh, reading for you, Sagittarius. And this card says an important achievement, self-discipline, discipline, and willpower, and the uh, public recognition, honey. I don't know why I couldn't get that last part out. Um, so yeah, this is like, I always say the chariot is divinely sent. Uh, it only comes into your path whenever you are on your right path. And whenever the chariot comes forward, sorry about that, Sagittarius. My laptop was about to fall, honey, and I needed to take care of it. But as I was saying, Saji, I like to see this uh, the chariot card as um, like the spirit sending like an Uber to you, right? To help you along in your path. And so the chariot doesn't come when you're on the wrong path, right? Spirit's not going to send an Uber for you if um, you're going down the wrong path because logically, like, why would spirit help you go down the wrong path even quicker, right? Does that make sense? And so I'm seeing this as Sagittarius. Once you identify where it is that you need to go, that answers your highest calling, that's when a lot of fast forward movement happens. But the clarifier comes in confirming to what I was um, feeling or having suspicions of, Eight of Air. Now this card says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action. So this is where like this is what's waiting this is what's waiting for you right here sagittarius is this chariot is this um uber from spirit directly sent from spirit right but with this eight of air here this is where it is that you are feeling trapped you are feeling limited sagittarius it's almost like the best thing for you to do this week is to really i try to identify where it is that your path is trying to take you to next sagittarius rather than um, trying to just feel like you need to keep on going forward and forward with whatever project so just so you feel productive see this is the thing i want to point out uh sagittarius do not associate pro just being busy with being truly productive for your life and trying to go forward right because i do just get the sense that you guys are some of you sagittarius are still sinking a lot of energy into like you have your hands involved in a lot of things and i feel as if like you should be focusing on like one specific thing having yourself as the focal point of that energy because that's when the forward movement happens um and it feels like until you identify that you're going to be in this state of air kind of like stuck in limbo um almost sagittarius because i really do feel like this is more so of a place of trying like a sagittarius needing to just identify the direction that they need to go in rather than trying to motivate themselves to go forward because i see you having the motivation as the king of fire right and, and especially as the dreamer card as well I see a lot of motivation i see a lot of um ready for new things right you kind of just need a little bit more direction or you're looking for that direction right i'm not saying that you yourself sagittarius need more direction in your life honey honey who doesn't need more direction in their life if we all could just be handed a blueprint on how, on how to handle our lives and like go about things the right way like oh my gosh imagine <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Sagittarius, uh, let's now get into the blessings that you can look forward to this week, right? Um, the, this is, I always like to say, view this as part of the reading, uh, just don't mind me, I'm trying to pick, pick decide which deck I want to use. Uh, I like to view this part of the reading, Sagittarius, as like, what is in the works for Sagittarius? What good things are in the works for you? Um, so that way you can have something to look for, not only something to look forward to, Sagittarius, but something for you to, um, pay attention to and keep your eye on as well to see it um happening like in the works right this week so let's see what information we can get for the blessings coming to you sagittarius all right these two cards as well all right let me get these set up for you saji so the cards we have we have the king of wands following you because that is the king of fire we have the page of swords for you we have the High Priestess card for you, Sagittarius. And then we have the Tower card coming in for you. So, you, Sagittarius, are, you guys are on the path towards a completely new beginning, right? And I feel like once you guys identify the path that you need to take, this Uber card that I keep on saying for you guys is really going to take you to a new place entirely. I say this because of this king of wands and this tower card right here right this is associated i feel like this tower moment doesn't really happen for you sagittarius until again with this king of wands energy of like it's like how would we put this sagittarius 
I kind of get the impression of where it's kind of like picking up camp. Like, so I'm only like at, feeling the need to really clarify this because I know um, if you're not, if you are familiar with tarot, you see the tower card and it kind of, it can kind of seem intimidating, right? I feel like this is a self, like, uh, it, this is a tower card that you created on your own, Sagittarius. I don't know why I struggled so much getting that out. I feel like this is one of those things where it's just like, you're ready to pick up camp and go, right? You're ready to move, but you're not going to move and like uh, lock the door and give away the key to your house until you know where it is that you need to go next, right? And so um, you have the, uh, the High Priestess card. I almost called this the Ambition card for some reason. The High Priestess card with the Page of Swords here. Now, this is New Beginnings. Um, High Priestess card, this lets me know, this, these two cards in specific, you guys already have your eye. I feel like, you know how I was talking just before Sagittarius of where I was like, it seems like you guys just need to identify where it is you need to go in your path, and that's when your chariot card will show up and, you know, so on and so forth. I kind of get this feeling here that you already know where it is that you need to go, uh, slightly, or at the very least you've had your eye on it, of where it's just like... Mm, you've had it as like a consideration at the very least Sagittarius is something that I'm feeling and so it's almost just like maybe for some of you Sagittarius you're waiting for the right moment to just like uh put a match to this old um thing and just like pick up and leave right I don't know if you're waiting for the right moment for this or what before you make the decision but I definitely see some of you Sagittarius is already knowing where it is you need to go but for some reason, I just see like this pause. So um, let's see if we can get any more insight about that. Hmm. All right, Sagittarius, let me get these cards set up for you. So the four clarifiers we have, we have the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords following you, because that's the Five of Air. Swords is air. I don't think I ever went through it. Swords is air energy. Uh, wands is fire. Cups are water. And then pentacles are earth. So that's why I keep on saying they're following you, because the other deck it does uh, elements rather than the actual items. Justice card with the Hierophant as well. So... Sagittarius, I can't help but feel like you guys have, like, you guys had your eye on this before. And I feel like some of you guys even have this suspicion that this is where it is that you need to go. But it's almost like you guys have passed this exit before. Or you guys have, like, chosen to, like, move on from it at one point. Because with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords here and the Hierophant, this leads me to believe of where it's like it was almost like something in your life that you identified that was in your path at the time you were just like this isn't the right time it was just like right person but not the right moment right opportunity but not the right time um for something or it just wasn't like the timing just wasn't there for the situation Sagittarius but I do definitely strongly get that you guys have passed by this before but this ten of swords energy here this is definitely letting me know this is like a familiar energy to you for some reason there is already some type of history involved here with you guys and with that history five of swords you guys you kind of it seems like you made the choice to kind of like walk away from it right or to take the higher road or maybe like that situation if it's involving other people like it just it, like just escaped you or like they weren't receptive towards you at the time Sagittarius but right and you have this justice card here um very funny again how it's similar I say it's similar to Aries but it's all like you guys are getting like similar cards but in different decks that I have and with this Justice card, though, I feel like it's kind of like this is the Libra card. I always just say it just because I'm a Libra and it has no meaning to the reading. It's all Sagittarius. <laughs> um, it feels like with that Justice card, though, um, some type of it's like some type of storyline, some type of chapter that you thought was finished um, or some type of unfinished chapter or story with something you guys are reconnecting with or re going back to to either get closure on the situation or to go for round two 
uh, right? <laughs> to be completely honest. But I do get this sense, Sagittarius, that this is like, this is like, um, what it is that you, funnily enough, are like going towards is something that you at one point passed by at one point. How many times can I say at one point? So it's very interesting to hear it in this, see it in this reading. So I don't know if this is coming in more so as like an affirmation for my Sagittarius of some type of gut instinct that they were having. And that's what has been happening. Because here's the thing, Sagittarius, if you have your eye on, you like if you have an idea already on what it is that you need to do or where it is that you need to go, why isn't there action taken here? Like, why aren't you going forward with it? So it leads me to believe because of this right here, where there is history, where you're just like, ugh, like I tried this before, Valka, and it brought me some pain, or just like, whatever. Um, you tried it before, but I just feel like it just wasn't the right timing um, if you did try this before, or if like you tried to re like connect with this person before such a tear. So it feels like now is just a much better timing. Now that you let go of whatever it was that you were trying to bring along with you in your past before, you trying you reaching back out to the situation it seems like you'd be um you'd get a better result from it now finally so yeah sagittarius overall really good cards for y'all this week um let's pull some oracle cards uh, real quick just to wrap up this reading for you guys you have the new moon in capricorn your hard work is paying off so if you guys, Sagittarius, have, I mean, it makes sense too, right? Sagittarius, I feel like out of all the signs, you guys have been tossed and tossed around the most, right? You guys have been my, my ones that have been trying the most and just like, you guys are always like seemingly like the most optimistic um, and the most motivated, but never, like, it feels like you guys have always just needed a little bit more direction. Um, not saying that you need more direction, Sagittarius. It feels like that, like, you could use more direction, like... You could use some help on your path. Like you could use a tour guide. You could use someone giving you a map, right? Um, and then you have the manatee card. Accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. So I feel like this is kind of reminiscent for my Sagittarius that are still trying to hold out, hold out hope on something. They're like holding on to this one bag and be like, oh no, what if I need to like have this through my journey? What if I like um, need to have this person in my life still? What if, what if, what if? Accept the things as, as they are, Sagittarius. Stop trying to waste so much energy into trying to change things and just go with the flow of it. Uh, because that's where you're trying to be redirected to, is to your proper pathing. And once you're on your proper pathing, that's when the chariot, your Uber, can show up, Sagittarius. So, um, yeah, that is the reading that I have for you for this weekly uh, reading for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards did and how. Uh, be sure to share my videos with a friend as well, because I do the weekly zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Sagittarius. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, uh, send them my video. Maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. But uh, yeah, Sagittarius, I love you so much, and until next time.